Good morning, YouTube. How are you this morning? I am going to be your hostess with the mostest this morning. My name is Shelton Ponder. If you are new, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you are new to YouTube, or if you've been subscribed to me for a while, go ahead and like, go ahead and comment, go ahead and share, go ahead and subscribe if you're new to my YouTube, Sean Ponder. If you do not follow me on social media, I do extend my, I do extend an invitation for you to view my photos. My Twitter handle is always, my Twitter and Instagram handles are the same, Tony Gumble 21 How did everybody sleep last night? I got a decent night of sleep. Very relaxful. Very energized for today. I talk about the MLB a lot, but last night there was, a, I'm sorry, I talk about the NFL a lot, but last night there was no NFL, there was the MLB postseason, it included the last four standing teams, it included the Boston Red Sox and the Houston Astros. Now, the Houston Astros, last year's team, they're really giving it to the to the Boston Red Sox. However, the Boston Red Sox whooped the Houston Astros last night. And the final score was eight to two. Which means that Boston has got a commanding two one series lead. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means that Boston is on track for another World Series. But we shouldn't deviate from the fact that Houston is a great team. And Houston played their hearts out last year to win the World Series last year. Two one series lead. Beat the Astros eight to two last night. You beat the Astros eight to two. In the second game, you had the Los Angeles Dodgers beating. I mean beating beating uh, sorry sorry uh, 
Yep, Boston beating Houston 8-2 to to take a 2-1 series lead. Now, what does this mean? This means that just because Boston won last night does not mean that Houston's going to let land dogs lie. What that means is that they're not going to let LA, I'm, I'm sorry, they're not going to let Boston go to the World Series. They're going to do everything that they can to not to keep Boston from going to the World Series. Now, Boston, uh, now Boston is a great team. Boston, Boston won 108 games during the 2018 season. During the 2018 season, the Boston Red Sox won 108 games, which is a record. Not not many people can do that. Not many teams can can have a 108 winning record like that. That that's the highest that a team has ever had. Now. In last night's game, in last night's nightcap, as they call it, the Dodgers win to take a two-one, uh, a two-two series uh, to tie it. Now, one might ask, well, why the Dodgers? Because the Dodgers haven't been to a World Series in 23 years. Yeah, I believe I believe that's right. But the Dodgers are hungry for another World Series berth, if you will. This is their second straight year. If they win against Milwaukee, which is gonna be really tough because Milwaukee was dominant last year uh, during the season. Milwaukee was dominant. They took the tiebreaker from the Cubs. My team. My team. My favorite team. The Cubs. They took the tiebreaker from the Cubs. They beat the Cubs. And guess what? Now, here they are. Now, they're in the ALCS. Which, for any... uh, I'm sorry, the NLCS. Which, for anyone who's new... Stands for the National League Championship Series. This is for all the Marbles right here. This is for all the Marbles right here. And whoever wins it is going to go to the big, big is who who's going is going to go to the big daddy, as I call it, the World Series. Now, before the postseason started. I said that the Cubs would be going to the postseason. That wasn't the case. What that did was that was I had to scratch that out of my out of my memory bank and say, hmm, who was going to go to the World Series? We already know that it's Boston, hands down. They they played tremendously. Jackie Bradley Jr., Dustin Pedroia. They've played some solid baseball lately. That's from the AL. Now, the NL, I was kind of sketchy on. Both teams are good. Both teams are dominant pitchers. You got Yasiel Puig, who was a hothead in with himself, but that's... That's always going to be him. Matt Kemp. Uh, Cody Bellinger. Um, There's a guy. Uh, Josh Turner. That's who I was thinking of. I was thinking of Josh Turner. And then on Milwaukee, Kristen Yelich. Lorenzo Cain. Mike Moustakas. 
Now, remember those two names. Lorenzo Cain and Mike Moustakis. Any of them ring a bell? Of course they do. Because they won the 2015 Kansas City Royals championship team. It's going to be a toss-up on who's going to go to the World Series in the NL. Both teams are very good. Both teams will beat you hands down. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Initially, I think it's going to be Boston and Milwaukee. But of course, that can all change. All that can change in the matter of an inning. It's like they always say, anything is possible. Anything is possible. Houston is a great team. I don't like Houston. But I give them that credit. I mean, you got a, you got a top five pitcher in Jason uh, Justin Verlander. Very good, very good defense and offense. This is what got them to the World Series and what had to win the World Series last year. It's going to be a tough... If, if the wild card in the NLDS... If the wild card in the NLDS showed you anything, oh, this is definitely going to show you something. This is going to show you who ate their Wheaties. Definitely going to show you who ate their Wheaties. And if it doesn't, I don't know what to tell you. I do not know what to tell you. But this is who proves who ate their Wheaties. Now, initially, I was wrong in saying, <clears throat> well, I'm not even going to say that. I still think that it's going to go to a seven-game series with both teams. With, number one, the tie and run at the bait. Uh, at the, uh, uh, sorry. Tying run on base. That's what it's going to be. That's how I think it's going to be. But Boston has played pretty good. To, to really capitalize on that. And I can't wait to see if it comes down to the wire in game seven or game six. We will never know. <laughs> but I'm proud of, I'm proud of, I'm proud of the Dodgers. And I'm proud of the Red Sox. I know I need, uh, I don't know what happened, but I had a, I had some hats that I lost. Anyway, um, I'm going to need to go back to Lids to buy a Boston hat, a Cubs hat, Chiefs hat, and a Royals hat. Those are my four top teams. Anyway. All four teams are really good. Their play style is what got them here. Now, who's gonna who's gonna take it to the World Series though? That that's the question. Woo! All four teams are pretty good. Which, if all four teams are pretty good, then I'll start watching the games tonight if they play tonight. But nonetheless, I, I'm happy that the Dodgers made it and the Red Sox made it. That's who I think is going to be in the World Series, but I could be wrong. 
by the end of the week, we could be saying, oh, it might be Milwaukee. And the reason why I don't like Milwaukee is because they are the Cubs' arch rival. They are the Cubs, our tribal. We don't like them. They don't like us. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. We don't like them and they don't like us. But when the game is over, we'll hang out with them. Maybe. <laughs> but no. Congratulations to all four teams who, who have made it. I'm not I'm not bitter. I'm not I'm not anything. I'm just I'm I'm I can't wait to see who's gonna be in the World Series. I just can't. I'm I'm excited to see who's gonna be in the World Series. Now, like I said, Might be a Boston LA and LA affair, you know. Boston, Boston Celtics and LA Lakers have been going at it for years now. The Boston LA gig has been going on for years now. Who's going to take the series? Who's going to win it? If that's even now, we could have a repeat of last year. We could have a repeat of last year. Uh, Houston and Houston and uh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go seventy-five. I'm gonna go seventy-five. Sorry about that. I was talking to myself. But. Like I said. It could be a total repeat of last year. Total repeat of last year. Houston and. Houston and LA. It could be that. Or it could be. Houston and. And Milwaukee. Or Boston and Milwaukee. It's not either or. I'm sorry. It is either or. It's either Boston or it's Houston. It's either L.A. It's either the Dodgers or Milwaukee. That's who it could be. We will not know. Until after, until game six and maybe game seven, but we won't know. Know why we won't know? Because all four teams are that dang good. All four teams are that good. All four teams are that good. It's hard to beat them. It's hard to beat them. It really is. It really, really is. Boston, 108 games, 108 games over the season. Houston, 106. Milwaukee, 90. So on and so forth. But if my prediction is true of Boston and L.A., L.A. probably has a good has a good chance. But Boston, you never, ever, 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 
one to count out Boston because Boston is a good, good, great team. Boston's a great team. Boston is a great team. Ah, you know what? I was... I was there when they won it in 04. Not there physically, but... I was there when they won it in 04. I was there when they won it in 08. I was there when they won it in 13. And you know what? Them winning every time they win, it's just sweeter. It just tastes sweeter. It does. It tastes sweeter. It really does. Alright, YouTube, I'm about to end this because yesterday the video cut out at 27 minutes and I don't want it to do that today. I think the reason being is because I have too many videos that need to be uploaded, but I need to find the time to upload them. <laughs> anyway, I will chat with you later, maybe. Um, as always, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at TonyGumbo21. Also, like, share, subscribe. Also, like, share, comment if you are returning. And if you are new, do follow me. Do subscribe to me here on YouTube, Shelton Ponder. As always, live your life the way you want to live it, not the way someone else wants you to. I'm Shelton Ponder II, and I'm out.